Okay, hello everybody. I'm Frederick, and I um, work with a problem that uh, is big for the oil industry because yeah, you can find oil uh, under the bottom of the sea in oil reservoirs, uh, which is uh, a porous kind of rock. That's basically a rock with uh, many holes inside them, and uh, they are connected in a network. And inside here, this network, we find the oil. And the oil companies, uh, of course, want to take out everything of this. So they try, one thing they can try is to push uh, something into the network while they uh, pump the oil out. And uh, if you do this with seawater, uh, the idea is to replace all the oil with seawater. But in, uh, it turns out that when you pump a thin liquid like water into a thick liquid uh, like oil, the water will find the easiest way through it and leave the oil behind in the hard areas to flow through. So what I'm doing, uh, uh, and uh, this process is not very easy to observe or see in a real reservoir, so I make uh, small uh, copies and models of these reservoirs between two glass plates so that we can see what's happening inside. And these reservoirs uh, have a thick liquid uh, acting as the oil, while air is pushed into it to represent seawater. And then you see the same kind of patterns from above with a video camera. And, uh, this can be investigated and uh, you can look at how, the, how much of the oil is pushed out and uh, see how this flow process through the small reservoir model. And the goal of this work is to uh, better understand what happens inside a real oil reservoir. And also this will be used in uh, computer programs so we can predict better what happens inside the reservoir. So that's what I work with.